This is Andy Froger, and I wanted to take a couple of minutes and share with you some of the exciting new things we've been doing with Google Maps integration in FileMaker. One of the things that really excites me about Google Maps integration with FileMaker is that you can display customer data information uh, integrated with the actual map. So you can pull up uh, locations and have them displayed as pins, um, as well as when you click on a pin, you can pull up customer information or click throughs that go to the actual customer page. One of the fun things that we've been doing lately is um, we found a couple of new techniques. One of them is a clustering technique which is really nice for iPads. It's also good for the desktop and what it does is it takes um, where you would normally have a whole bunch of these uh, little pins that you've seen on other Google Maps and it puts them under a single cluster so you can click on the cluster easily on an iPad to dial in and zoom into that area. Of to focus in on a specific region before you then select an individual customer uh, pin. So another cool thing that you've probably seen in Google Maps is color coding the pins. And so we've been able to do that as well. So if we go back out to our all customers and we turn off the clustering, now you can see we're using a color coding of the pins um, and all the pins are different colors. And the colors are based on, um, I'm using a data point, I'm selecting the sales rep that's associated with the customer to determine what color the pin should be. And so you can see I've got a list of the sales reps um, in the legend here that are being displayed. And we can adjust this list in our settings by turning on or off which ones we actually want to see and which ones we don't want to see. We can also further customize it by changing the color that is being used to display for that any of the selected reps. One additional thing before I pop back is we can also change the icon to be a different shape. So if I wanted to, to be circle instead of the marker icon, I can change them to circle. Now we come back and you can see I've changed the list that we're looking at and the pins have changed color depending upon what colors I've set. I hope you find some of the Google Map integration with FileMaker as useful as I do. If you're interested in having any of them added to your solution, just let us know.